What's the JP Morgan plan to catch up if I was above average, but nothing like what NVIDIA did? So I, I think the, the best thing that people can do today is try to preserve their optionality. And we, we would encourage two ways of doing Please. that. First would be by not forgetting about fixed income, right? You know, we talked about how sitting in cash feels comfortable and obviously you're getting paid from the bond market once again. We still think that that optionality, maintaining a relatively short duration, could work in your favor because if you get a big pullback in equities, you're going to be able to deploy that capital and, and try to catch up to, to your question. The other thing is we would maintain that shorter duration on the equity side as well, focus on the dividend payers, focus on the high cash flow companies. Again, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of enthusiasm about things like artificial intelligence. And I do think that it'll boost productivity over the longer term, but I'm not sure it's going to boost productivity <coughs> tomorrow. And I'm not sure it means that we're going to avoid some sort of soft patch in the economy over the course of the next 12 months. So this all feels very sentiment driven. That's why we're fo so focused on profit and the optionality that those cash flows can provide. NVIDIA's making money, Meta's making money. What does tech fit into that? Just to build on that a little bit more. No, and we talked about this a couple of months ago. What was really interesting about watching tech into the end of 2022 and the beginning of this year is that they've been taking their medicine, right? They've been laying people off. They've been defending that margin. They don't necessarily have the type of pricing power that you're seeing from, say, the airlines in the current environment. And so you're actually seeing tech margins hang in there. And I think that that does limit the downside to the market if we do hit a slow patch or a recession in the economy. But you know, my general take is that even if inflation is still above the Fed's target and real growth is slowing, tough to see how earnings in aggregate continue to expand.